In this section, we're going to look at how you can permanently change the order that the symbols appear in the bottom right hand window here. We'll illustrate this with a couple of very simple examples. Create a graphic window that we can type in, and I'll type the word cat. There are two symbols for cat, and it may be that you prefer the second one. We can click on that and change it. It may be, however, that you want that to happen for every single time you run the program, not just here. We can do that by saving that change permanently to what we call a word list. The word list is what links the word that you type to the graphic that appears. And if I open the word list menu here, you can see that bottom but one, there is save symbol choices. I'll just leave that for a moment because I'm going to do one other example as well. So we'll click back here and I'll also type bus. The symbol that's appearing first is a school bus and that may well be what you want if you're working with children but if you're working with adults or older students then maybe we want a different sort of bus. Maybe we want this bus here. So we've now changed this symbol and this symbol for ones that we prefer. If we now go to word list and save those symbol choices, then next time we open the program we shall see these as the default first symbol. What I'm going to do now is to pause the recording of this video and then reload the program to show you what you see. So here we're pausing. Right, I've now reloaded the program so we'll look at the same two words again Create the symbol frame and type cat. If we try and do it correctly. And we get the cat that we now prefer and type bus. And we now get the bus that we prefer. And the one that was originally first has now been moved to second in the order. So this is a really useful way of changing the order of the symbols to get the ones that you want appearing by default that saves you the trouble of having to select them here or having to use the F9.